Hey folks, this is Brad with PCMech.com and today we're going to be showing you how to create a symbolic link in Ubuntu real quick. Uh, so first, you'll want to open up the terminal in Ubuntu. Uh, to do that, you can press Control alt t or press the little Ubuntu tab in the top, the Search Your Computer button, type in Terminal, and then click on the application. So what we have here is a, uh, a command to create a symbolic link. Uh, it's just a quick example. Uh, it doesn't actually work because I don't have these files in place. But uh, if you see here, this uh, target here, this is the target that you'll want to put in. So what you'll want to do is in the terminal, press uh, or put in line ln space dash s and then the target of the symbolic link and then the destination of the symbolic link over here. So in that case, uh, this line here is the target of the symbolic link, what we want to pull the symbolic link from, and then this will be the destination of the symbolic link. So it's essentially just a backup or a reference or a shortcut of another file. So this file here that would be created would be the same as this one here, only it would be a shortcut to those files. Um, that's a bit of the more complicated way to do it. But what you can do, and it's much easier, let's close this. And any file that you want to create a symbolic link to, you can actually just go in the File Explorer, the graphical interface. Instead of messing with the terminal, you can right click on any file you want and just click on Make a Link. And that'll create a link to this original document. So, you, in, uh, you can picture it as really just a shortcut uh, like you'd create in Windows. Um, you know, when you go to a file in Windows and you click Create Shortcut, that's essentially what you're doing here, creating a shortcut that references the original file. And that's really all there is to it. Uh, for more great videos, please head on over to our YouTube channel. Or for a even more detailed article on Symbolic Links, We've got one over PCMac.com that just went up over the weekend, and we'd love for you to check it out. I've been Brad with PCMac.com, and until next time.